time for the Ryan Report on Atlanta's big station, V103. Why are you turning me down? Come on, that thing be bumping, shout wow. All right, turn it back down. It is your Ryan Report. Live on V-103.com, Tracy Morgan is headed back to Nashville to apologize to the eight people that were in the comedy club. The, the 12 folks that showed up. Right. Okay. Um, he released a written apology last Friday, but then he talked to the president and the staff of the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation. By the end of the call, he agreed to go back to Nashville to deliver a face-to-face apology to those people who were in the auditorium that night. Okay. He also has uh, made some revelations about his own personal life, saying he's going to be part of the upcoming Amplify Your Voice public service campaign for GLAD to uh, combat anti-bullying, saying, I know how bad bullying can hurt. I was bullied when I was a kid. I'm sorry for what I said. I didn't mean it. I never wanted to use my comedy to hurt anyone. He said, my family knew what it was like to feel different. My brother was disabled, and I lost my father to AIDS in 1987. Mm. My dad wasn't gay, but I also learned about homophobia then because of how people treated people who were sick with that. So, I mean, he had experience, so it's kind of weird wondering where all this stuff came from. Right. Well, that's my that's my thing is, like, it's very Mr. After the Fact, but that's cool. I mean, you know, I've used that defense, too, on the uh, I used to get bullied and now I bully defense. It works sometimes. Well, at least he's Good going back. Good luck for him. Yeah, hopefully he'll, you know, like hopefully everyone you, will. It's all, a, you know, a direct deposit. Today is 13. <laughs> right. You no, know, I need you to have apologized. By the time this check is supposed to hit, Hello. Tracy, we're going to have a problem. Hello. All right. Uh, the wiener man. Won't stop. Whoa. That's it just won't stop for the wiener man. <laughs> President Obama said, if I were you, I'd resign. He says, I'm not doing that. But now the hero builders have come out with an Anthony Wiener action figure. Here it is. There it is. Want to get that, Steve? Huh? He's got a bulge in his pants. Oh, is he pitching a tent? And it says, yeah, tweet this. Wow. It comes in two versions. One, the more safe version right here, and then, of course, a really big version. And based on the pictures that I saw, the doll's actually anatomically correct, so well done. The doll looks better than he does. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So that's good. Bulging. Yeah. All right. Uh, Soldier Boy says he was hacked. Yeah. After we talked about it yesterday, he <laughs> said he was hacked over the weekend, saying he was the latest victim, saying uh, in a statement to TMZ, I want to clear the air and let everyone know that my Facebook got hacked. There was a bunch of homophobic, racist stuff on his Facebook page over the weekend. Soldier Boy says, I had administrators on my account that no longer work with me. The hackers use these old accounts to post hateful messages. <laughs> it was not done by me or anyone on my team. And I'm upset that I'm being labeled as a racist and homophobic person. First line tells the whole story. I had administrators on my account that no longer work with me. Yeah. As in disgruntled employee. That's what he's trying to say. That's what he's trying to say. You know, Ryan, ugh, again, I feel like we're back to the good the good angel and the bad angel. And the good angel's like, yeah, of course, Soldier Boy probably did get hacked. It happens all the time. It's possible. And the devil's like, yeah, by hacking, that means that he woke up from a coke binge and realized what he did. And then he felt bad, so he had to say he was hacked. I don't know who wins. Deion Sanders <laughs> wins. The Hall of Fame issued a statement saying... Deion Sanders sitting in a football and a helmet. Everybody's wondering, what was he going to be? No Was he way. going to be a cowboy? No. Was he going to be a 49er? No. For the first time, we have a longtime Falcon in the Hall of Fame. Deion sent a Falcons helmet and a Falcons football. And rightfully so. I can't believe people actually questioned what he was going to do. Kidding me? He was Neon Dan. He was prime time when he was here. People were not wearing Falcon jerseys for real until we got Dion. See, absolutely. So, Come on, man. Congratulations to us. Yeah, man. We have a Falcon in the Hall of Fame. Finally. Now, even though we had uh, Eric Dickerson and, and uh, somebody else, Tommy McDonald, they only played for one season, so they don't count. Yeah. Jeff Van Notes in the Hall of Fame as well. He was my, uh, he was my, well, he's going in with Dion. He was my former yeah, okay. co-host. Yeah, yeah so okay. congratulations right. to him, too. Oh. I don't have any Jeff and no jerseys. Well, there. I mean, he played a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> this hour being brought to you by Crush Soda. Crush your thirst. It doesn't count if it didn't happen within the last 10 yeah, years. I don't know, right? I don't know who that yeah. is. <laughs> wow. He had a leather helmet. Okay. <laughs> That's your rare report. It's V103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know. Come, you know. Come. 